Hello and welcome to Poco's Tech. Today I'm going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S4, the newest phone in the Samsung's S range that is packed with features. I'm here to talk about these features and whether the phone is going to be good or disappointment. The first feature I'm going to be talking about is Air View and Air Gesture. This is a feature that allows you to control your phone without touching it, just performing a series of gestures above your phone. You can preview emails, enlarge photos and speed dial through this feature. As well as this you can scroll through web pages, change music tracks and answer calls with the air gesture feature. This is a clever feature but I'm not sure whether it will be put to use by users all the time. The next feature I'm going to talk about has proven to be the main talking point when discussing the S4. It is the ability to use your eyes to control certain parts of the phone. For example, when watching a video, if you look away, the S4 will detect this and pause the video. When you look back, it will resume again. People may think that you can scroll through web pages with your eyes, but in fact you have to tilt your phone to do this. This again is a clever feature, and I think it will enhance the user experience of using the phone. The next feature is the S Translator, not the most original name, but a brilliant concept. This tool allows users to access instant text-to-speech or speech-to-text translations for nine different languages. You can use it for text messages and email, and the best thing about it is you don't need to be connected to the internet. Next up is the S-Drive, another cool feature that focus on safety. The S-Drive mode allows the user to talk to their phone without touching it. You can ask for directions and answer calls just using your voice allowing you to keep your eyes on the road. This is a very good feature but please note that it will only work with cars that have Bluetooth in it. The S4 will run the latest operating system from Android which is Jelly Bean. This is quite a shock to me as I thought Google will have bought out Keyline Pi by now but maybe they're waiting to bring that out on the Nexus 7 in May slash June. This, the S4 boasts two cameras with the rear camera at a whopping 30 megapixels and the front one at a mere 2. A dual shot feature is also added allowing the S4 to both cameras to be used at the same time. The phone is expected to come out on May the 26th, April sorry, the 26th in the UK so until then we don't know how it will perform compared to other rivals such as the iPhone. With all these features I'm expecting to fly off the shelf later this month but with all these features, I'm worried that the S4's battery life could be poor. The S4 crams a lot into it and has features that perhaps we don't need, but we'll just have to find out. That's all, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button below, leave a comment, and subscribe for more tech reviews and tutorials. I am on Twitter at, at Pocos Tech. Just follow the link in the description. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.